Emirates Team New Zealand back in the race again. Rain clouds coming off the mountains to the north of Barcelona produce some challenging and dynamic conditions with enormous shifts in the wind on day one of the Louis Vuitton Cup second round robin, the stage of the Challenger Selection Series where every race really matters. It's ultra serious from here on in with the immutable fact that for one team on Sunday, if everything goes to schedule, their Louis Vuitton 37th America's Cup dream ends and they are eliminated. A harsh reality. Tension was palpable at Dockout with flag-waving supporters sending off their teams with unbridled enthusiasm ahead of some high-pressure racing, none more so than in the opening race of the day between Alinghi Red Bull Racing and Orient Express Racing Team. The Swiss, winless from round robin one, were imperious from the start, building a massive lead and capitalizing on a French mistake that saw them off the foils on the first upwind leg. The Swiss never looked back, offering no passing lanes or ways back in for Orient Express Racing Team and sailed smoothly over six legs to secure a morale-boosting win that could be absolutely vital at the end of this regatta in the case of an undecided tie-break. Win number one for Alinghi Red Bull Racing, and right at the moment when it mattered most. An elated and relieved Maxim Bachelin, port helmsman of Alinghi Red Bull Racing came ashore, praising his team saying, it's a great way for us to start for the week. I think we did it quite well, we like these shifty conditions and heavy wind, so I think we did what we really wanted to do. We were quite down last week after the results, now it's a good reset and we're very happy with the performance of the team on the boat handling and, as well, the speed looks way better than what it was in the past, so we are very happy. For the French it was a hard loss to take but Quentin Delapierre, the skipper and sailing figurehead of the campaign, still sees a way forward saying, we had a technical issue, which is quite unfortunate, and we were just fighting with the boat in the starting box and also really struggling in the first tack. We didn't lose this match fairly. It is what it is. This is the cup, it's part of the game and honestly, the confidence is still really high. We know that we will improve again during this week, we can win all the matches, so we just have to stay really positive. Everything is possible this week. These two teams are now fighting it out for a crucial spot in the Louis Vuitton Cup semi-final with all to play for in the coming days. Two other teams that are enjoying a tight battle came head-to-head -head in the second race of the day with Emirates Team New Zealand and Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli facing off in a fascinating encounter. There doesn't appear much to choose between these two other than racecraft and boat positioning which today Jimmy Spithill and Francesco Bruni nailed to perfection onboard Luna Rossa right at the start. Gassing the Kiwis in the final approaches to the line and forcing them into a low-speed tack that saw Emirates Team New Zealand off the foils gave full advantage to Luna Rossa, who survived a nervy skyrocket broach on attack exit to lead at every mark. Drama, however, ensued on the final downwind to the finish with the weather deteriorating and rumbles of thunder heard close by when a lightning strike was spotted hitting the water just a few hundred metres ahead of Luna Rossa on their way to the finishing line. Sensibly the race committee called an almost immediate halt to racing, awarding the win to Luna Rossa whilst Emirates Team New Zealand was scored a DSQ for going far outside the boundary as they headed off the racecourse in an effort to avoid the incoming weather. Both boats dropped sails immediately and fast towed back to the Port Vell. C'est sûr que nous aujourd'hui on avait la grosse journée euh, Italie et, et Nouvelle-Zélande. Euh, Italie, on n'a on pas le côté du départ qu'on veut et bah, contre eux ça ne pardonne pas. Hein, on l'avait dit, il hein, faudra naviguer parfaitement pour être capable de le battre. Euh, sur le premier long bâbord, on fait un gros gain, mais après on n'arrive pas à le transformer. Euh, les Néo Z, c'est un match euh, où on pose en pré-départ malheureusement. Euh, après les gars ont réussi à redécoller, eux ils ont posé, on est repassé devant. On perd le serfranc, comme on dit, sur un, non, sur un jack, mais à la limite, euh, ce match-là, c'est voilà, un match qui ne comptait pas, entre guillemets, pour grand-chose. Euh, le fait du jour, c'est qu'Alinghi qu euh, gagne contre les Américains. Alinghi et nous, on a les, les mêmes euh, adversaires à battre. On va avoir euh, samedi les Américains, dimanche les Anglais. Voilà, maintenant, la pression, elle est, elle est sur nous. Euh, à nous de la gérer, à nous vraiment qu'on arrive à passer la vitesse supérieure et être super solide. Et de toute façon, pour passer, il faut les battre. 
demain on a une bonne journée d'entraînement à se mettre et comme on dit en anglais heads up, c'est le sport de haut niveau, il faut gagner des points, à nous d'aller les gagner, c'est tout. When I saw that uh, the America's Cup protocol is compulsory to have a hydrogen support vessel, immediately came in my mind the possibility that Blue Game uh, should uh, be part of this uh, very interesting uh, project. We have our brand new hydrogen support vessel, fresh from the Blue Game factory at San Lorenzo. First thought, she's a pretty vessel, for sure. She's beautiful. She looks fast, so let's hope she is fast. It looks like a spaceship. I think it's cool, yeah. It's definitely unique. It's exciting. Hopefully in about 24 hours we'll be falling around at 50 knots uh, off of Barcelona. The boat has got uh, an electric engine, about uh, 220 kilowatt. Plus there is a fuel cell, hydrogen generator of electricity. The boat obviously is a bit like a racing car. What you can find is uh, seven seats. You have a dashboard with uh, quite big screens where you have all the information you need from uh, power, from uh, GPS, from uh, performance of the boat. Speed target was one of the rules of the protocol. We had to reach the 50 knots. Boat will go out uh, immediately after uh, the AC-75 is leaving the dock. We'll be following each race of Patriot. The, the rule of the protocol allows this boat to stay very close to the race course. So we are in a very privileged uh, position. So people coming on board will be able to feel and see the race, single race in a very special manner. I'm honored that uh, we were chosen by American Magic and by the New York Yacht Club really give us uh, the responsibility to work at the maximum to give them uh, the best possible boat.